What's up, muscle and strength? IFBB Pro, Javion Seymour, and I'm here to take you on a full day of eating. Let's go. Meal one. We got one whole egg. Just five ounces. I know when I first started competing, I couldn't stand egg whites, bro. Because they have no flavor. I don't care how I, I don't, you just can't add like any season to make egg whites taste good. So I actually used to drink them back in the day. 60 grams of blueberries. Put that in there for three minutes. I'll put the blueberries and the oats together and I'll just put water over it. And I put it in the uh, microwave for three minutes. When you microwave it all together, the blueberries just explode and you, you get this purple concoction. It's, it's like a cobbler, man. It is delicious. All right, guys, so this is meal one. We have 60 grams of oats, 60 grams of blueberries, five ounces of egg whites, and one whole egg. Another thing that I like to do, I like to put my eggs in my oatmeal. <laughs> Wow, bro, you're really changing things up. I'm changing the game. No, uh, the only reason why I show y'all that is because apparently I was in Texas with one of my friends and I I did this and he was like, that's disgusting. And I was just like, bro, you, you have not lived until you put your eggs in your oatmeal, bro. Especially when you're in prep and you get that low, in those low calories, you do anything you can to increase your volume of your food. So this is part of my morning routine for gut health. Uh, I take a men's multivitamin for one one supplements, my sponsor. Two scoops of greens, fruits and greens. Two scoops of glutamine. As bodybuilders, we put our bodies under a lot of stress taking in all this food. You know, you wanna keep your gut health on point. All right, so I started competing in 2017. My first show was a natural show. It was the NGA Southeastern. This was my trophy um, that I won from that show. Fortunately, I was fortunate enough to get my pro card my first try. I never knew that I was actually going to be decent in bodybuilding. I didn't know if I had the genetics for it. So the judges had came up to me at that show telling me I had a bright future and to go on and switch over to the MPC. So that following year I did, I won the Lee Haney Games, that's where the helmet and the sword came from. So I waited until June of 2019 where I did Junior Nationals back when it was held in Chicago and I got second. And obviously, you know, you get second in Nationals, <laughs> you know, your head gets big, right? You feel like all you have to do is just step on stage one more time and you get your pro card. So I did the Miami Nationals a couple months later and I ended up getting sixth. <laughs> that was when my coach at the time had pulled me to the side. He was like, okay, you need to take some time to grow and you know we'll come back next year. So that's what I did. NPC Team Universe of 2020 was the height of COVID. But till this day, I still think that was when the universe had the most competition in recent years but I came back and I won first place and I turned pro. I have a couple medals here. As far as my first pro show, my pro debut, I got 11th place, you know, no hardware to bring home, but I took a year off. I came back the following year, 2022, and this is where I get fourth in the Republic of Texas. There's definitely a big misconception with it, right? Because I know for a fact that when I turned pro, I felt like, you know, opportunities were just gonna come to me left and right. No, but luckily the coach I had at the time was very realistic with me. You know, he was like, congratulations, you're the best in the nation today. Tomorrow you wake up the worst pro. <laughs> and that was, you know, the harshest thing I've heard in a while. But I mean, it was realistic. 
you know? All this stuff comes with time, like anything else, just like your pro card, just like your physique, everything just comes with time. So we got five ounces of baked chicken breast, eight ounces of cooked white jasmine rice, and a cup of asparagus. You sound excited, bro. I'm excited, yeah, but. <laughs> you don't have a big appetite, huh? Not really, bro, to be honest with you. And I, yeah, I'll be honest. Do you eat your vegetables? Yeah, I, I mean, like, I like asparagus. All right, because it's very, yeah, I find that it's very rare for guys to eat their vegetables, bro. I actually like eating my vegetables. It's just like a common thing now, like if guys are in their off season, I'd be like, I don't eat vegetables, I take my greens powder. I'd be like, bro, you a grown man. Usually after my second meal, um, is uh, my second meal is my pre-workout meal. And that's why, you know, it's chicken breast and right rice because, you know, it easily digests. It's not a lot of fat in it or anything like that. Right. I can't train, you know, off of salmon or steak. I just feel way too sluggish. We're on our way to my favorite store, which is Kroger. Uh, a lot of people ask, how many times do I go to the store throughout the week? Nobody asked that, bro. Nobody asked that? <laughs> Somebody I like, just asked that. Well, whatever. <laughs> people always ask, how often do bodybuilders go to the store? I've gotten that question a lot. But uh, the truth is sometimes it's, it varies. If I buy everything I need in bulk, like sometimes I go to Sam's or Costco, you know, it'll be, you know, once, twice a week. But there were, you know, certain periods where I would have to go to the store, you know, two or three times a week. Uh, as far as how much I spend, shoot. Depending on, you know, if I'm good at, you know, saving my money, about anywhere from two to four hundred dollars a week. Damn, yeah, so it's expensive. Yeah. That's it, just for you. That's just for me. Eating five meals a day. So training I don't do a lot of shakes or anything shakes are for me or is something that I would use if I'm out on the road and I don't have the opportunity to get some food in me but now we're going for a nice little cheat meal at my favorite spot Diablo's can I get a bowl please yes oh uh, white rice just a little bit thank you yes can I get you have spicy chicken can I get the spicy chicken yeah, double meat, please. Veggies. Yeah, veggies. I love my veggies. Lettuce. Uh, pico. Uh, cilantro. And pickled jalapeno. Making unsweet tea in Georgia. Whoa. Normal people like that sweet tea. What is wrong with that sweet tea? You sound like a psychopath. Ow. There's something wrong with Do your you childhood. Like sweet tea? Of course everyone likes sweet tea. Uh, nah. At Let's least put a Splenda packet in it. <laughs> like, it's bothering me. We got just a standard Tex-Mex bowl from Diablo's, my favorite restaurant. We have chicken, rice, no beans, Pico, cilantro, lettuce, and steamed veggies. And you did the, uh, you did the, the, so you did the double chicken hack. You wait for them to do the first. Thing. Exactly. Whenever you go to Diablo's, Chipotle, Moe's, anything, Barberitos, anything of the sort, wait for them to do the first spoonful of the protein that you want, and then politely say, "Oh, I want double scoops," <laughs> because if you say double scoops before that happens. You're screwed. You get a scoop and a half. You, not even that. Some people are stingy, bro. Some people are stingy. <laughs> Meal four, we got 
the Atlantic Salmon from Kroger. And we have my asparagus. Now the thing, the thing is when I cook my asparagus, I like having flavor to it. So, again, I'm not in prep or anything. So I'll add butter. I'll add a little bit of minced garlic. Yep, there we go. And I'll pretty much just allow this to sit for a minute and then I'll turn it over. Same thing with this right here. With this, I don't really put too much seasoning on it. I'm just putting salt and pepper. It doesn't count as a seasoning, but <laughs> just to add a little bit of flavor. You don't need much. I'm just adding this to make it a little bit more flavorful and enjoyable for me. You know, there's nothing wrong with eating clean, but you can still have flavor to it. I'm about to break it. Am I gonna break it? Am I gonna break it? It's too big. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> See, this is the part that usually tastes amazing too. The skin. Yeah, love leaving the skin on it, man. Gordon Ramsay will be disappointed. We have five ounces of salmon, a cup of asparagus again, and another eight ounces of rice. But I'm gonna add this Japanese barbecue sauce. It's a staple. It is absolutely delicious. All right, so as I'm eating, Right now I'm like checking client check-ins. I also offer online coaching on the side, you know, for lifestyle clients, contest prep clients. Also, as a side hustle, I also train in person at Gold Gym Evans, if you're interested. Just try this right here. It is simple, bro. I'm telling you. It is flaky. You did a good job. That is good. Tell me it's it not. It almost tastes like it's really good. Yeah. It's very well cooked. Yeah. It's 10.30, it got kind of late. I got caught up training clients, but luckily the last meal of the day is just plain old beef and asparagus. <laughs> Nothing crazy, but you know, still gotta get the meals in. So again, guys, it's just regular five ounces of beef here and just a cup of asparagus. I don't really measure, I just <laughs> get a handful of it. But. And just like that. Meal six is done. A uh, simple, easy meal to get down. Nothing crazy. But on that note, thank you all for watching and be sure to subscribe.